Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous. It's very unstable. It's about to explode. Imagine looking up at the night sky one evening and seeing something that has never existed in human history. A star so bright that it outshines the full moon. A star so brilliant that you can read a book by its light. A star so magnificent that it changes the very way our night sky looks forever. This isn't science fiction. This is what might happen when Betelgeuse, one of the most famous stars in our galaxy, explodes in a supernova that will be visible from Earth. Right now, as you're watching this video, there's a massive red giant star sitting in the constellation Orion that's getting ready to put on the most spectacular light show our planet has ever witnessed. And the crazy part? It could happen tomorrow, or it could happen in the next hundred thousand years. Nobody knows for sure, but when it does happen, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Let me tell you why Betelgeuse is so special and why astronomers around the world are keeping their eyes glued to this cosmic time bomb. Betelgeuse isn't just any ordinary star. It's what we call a red supergiant, and it's absolutely enormous. If you placed Betelgeuse where our sun is right now, it would swallow up Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars completely. It would extend all the way out to somewhere between Mars and Jupiter. That's how massive this thing really is. But here's where it gets even more mind-blowing. Despite being so incredibly huge, Betelgeuse is actually much younger than our sun. Our sun has been shining for about four and a half billion years and has about another five billion years to go before it starts to die. But Betelgeuse? It's only been around for about 10 million years, which in star terms is like being a teenager. The reason it's aging so fast is because it's burning through its fuel at an incredible rate. Think of it like this. Imagine you have two cars. One is a small, fuel-efficient car that sips gas slowly and can drive for thousands of miles on a single tank. The other is a massive monster truck that guzzles fuel like there is no tomorrow but can only go a few hundred miles before running out of gas. Our sun is like that efficient little car, burning hydrogen fuel slowly and steadily. Betelgeuse is like that monster truck, burning fuel so fast that it's going to run out much, much sooner. When a star like Betelgeuse starts running out of fuel, something amazing and terrifying happens. The star begins to collapse under its own enormous weight. All that mass, all those layers of burning gas, start falling inward toward the center. But then, in less than a second, the core becomes so dense and hot that it suddenly bounces back, creating a massive explosion that tears the star apart. This explosion is called a supernova, and it's one of the most powerful events in the entire universe. To give you an idea of just how powerful a supernova is, imagine taking all the energy that our sun will produce over its entire 10 billion year lifetime and releasing all of that energy in just a few seconds. That's what happens when a massive star like Betelgeuse explodes. The Amount of energy released is so enormous that it can outshine an entire galaxy containing hundreds of billions of stars. Now, here's the part that's going to blow your mind. When Betelgeuse explodes, even though it's about 650 light years away from us, which means the light from that explosion would take 650 years to reach Earth, it's going to be so bright that it will completely change how our night sky looks. Scientists estimate that when Betelgeuse goes supernova, it could become as bright as the full moon, or maybe even brighter. Picture this for a moment. You're outside on what should be a dark night, but there's this incredible star shining so brightly that it's casting shadows on the ground. You can see colors that you normally couldn't see at night. You can read a newspaper by starlight. The star would be visible even during the day, appearing as a bright point of light next to the sun. This spectacular light show would continue for weeks or even months before slowly fading away. But the most incredible part is what happens after the initial explosion. When Betelgeuse explodes, it's going to create something called a supernova remnant. This is like a massive, expanding bubble of hot gas and dust that glows with beautiful colors as it spreads out into space. From Earth, this would look like an enormous, slowly expanding ring of light in the constellation Orion. Over hundreds and thousands of years, this ring would grow larger and larger, 
creating a permanent new feature in our night sky that future generations would see for thousands of years to come. The constellation Orion, which has looked basically the same to humans for thousands of years, would suddenly be missing one of its most important stars. Betelgeuse forms the left shoulder of the hunter Orion, and without it, the constellation would look completely different. It would be like someone suddenly removed a major landmark from your hometown. The night sky that our ancestors knew, the same stars that guided ancient sailors and inspired countless myths and legends, would be forever changed. But wait, there's more to this story that makes it even more fascinating. The explosion of Betelgeuse would also affect Earth in ways that we're only just beginning to understand. When a star explodes, it doesn't just produce light. It also shoots out high-energy particles called cosmic rays and releases intense radiation. Now, before you start worrying, let me reassure you that Betelgeuse is far enough away that this explosion won't hurt us. We won't get radiation poisoning or anything dangerous like that. However, the explosion might have some subtle effects on our planet. Some scientists think that the high-energy particles from the supernova could slightly affect our atmosphere, possibly creating more colorful auroras than usual. Imagine seeing the northern lights not just in Alaska and northern Canada, but potentially visible much farther south than normal. The interaction between these cosmic particles and our atmosphere could create spectacular light shows that dance across the sky in brilliant greens, blues, and reds. There's also a possibility that the radiation from Betelgeuse's explosion could have minor effects on our planet's climate, though scientists are still studying exactly what those effects might be. Some research suggests that supernova explosions might trigger small changes in cloud formation or atmospheric chemistry, but again, these would be very minor changes, not anything that would threaten life on Earth. One of the most amazing things about studying Betelgeuse is that we can actually see it. Changing right before our eyes. Unlike most stars, which stay pretty much the same brightness for millions or billions of years, Betelgeuse has been acting up lately. Over the past few years, astronomers have noticed that it's been dimming and brightening in unusual patterns. Sometimes it gets noticeably dimmer, and sometimes it flares up brighter than normal. This unusual behavior has gotten scientists really excited because it might mean that Betelgeuse is getting closer to its final explosion. It's like watching a pot of water on the stove start to bubble more vigorously just before it boils over. The star seems to be going through some kind of instability that could be the early stages of its death throes. In 2019 and 2020, Betelgeuse dimmed so dramatically that it became big news around the world. For a while, it became the faintest that astronomers had ever seen it. People started wondering if this was finally it, if we were about to witness the supernova that everyone had been waiting for. But then the star brightened up again, returning to its normal brightness. It turned out that what we were seeing was probably a massive cloud of dust that the star had ejected, which temporarily blocked some of its light from reaching us. But here's the thing that makes this whole situation so thrilling and suspenseful. We know that Betelgeuse is going to explode someday, and we know it's going to be incredible when it happens, but we have absolutely no idea when it's going to occur. It could happen tonight while you're sleeping. It could happen next week, next year, or it might not happen for another hundred thousand years. This uncertainty is part of what makes Betelgeuse so captivating to astronomers and space enthusiasts around the world. The reason we can't predict exactly when it will explode is because stellar evolution is incredibly complicated, especially for massive stars like Betelgeuse. These stars go through many different phases as they age, and each phase can last for different amounts of time depending on countless factors that we don't fully understand yet. It's like trying to predict exactly when a campfire will burn out when you don't know how much wood is left, how dry the wood is, or how strong the wind is blowing. What we do know is that in astronomical terms, Betelgeuse's explosion is imminent. When astronomers say something is going to happen soon in space, they mean within the next few hundred thousand years, which is practically tomorrow in cosmic time. Stars live for millions or billions of years, so even if Betelgeuse doesn't explode for another 50,000 years, that's still considered very soon from the universe's perspective. The scientific community is incredibly excited about the possibility of witnessing a nearby supernova because it would give us an unprecedented opportunity to study one of these massive explosions up, close and in real time. 
Most of the supernovas that we observe happen in distant galaxies, millions or billions of light years away. They appear as tiny points of light that slowly fade away over time. But Betelgeuse would be different. It would be close enough and bright enough that we could study it in incredible detail with all of our modern instruments and telescopes. Scientists would be able to measure exactly what elements are created during the explosion, how fast the shock wave travels through space, and how the explosion affects the surrounding areas. This information would help us better understand not just how stars die, but also how the heavy elements that make up planets and life itself are created and spread throughout the universe. Speaking of heavy elements, here's another mind-blowing fact about what happens when Betelgeuse explodes. Right now, inside that massive star, nuclear fusion is creating some of the most important elements in the universe. The incredible heat and pressure inside Betelgeuse's core is fusing lighter elements together to create heavier ones. It's making carbon, oxygen, neon, magnesium, silicon, and iron. When the star finally explodes, all of these elements, along with even heavier ones created during the explosion itself, will be scattered across space. These elements will eventually become part of new stars, new planets, and maybe even new forms of life. The iron in your blood, the calcium in your bones, the oxygen you breathe, all of these elements were created inside stars like Betelgeuse and then scattered across the galaxy when those stars exploded. In a very real sense, we are all made of stardust, and Betelgeuse's future explosion will continue this incredible cycle of creation that has been going on for billions of years. The explosion will also create a shock wave that travels through space at thousands of miles per second. This shock wave will heat up and compress the gas and dust in the area around Betelgeuse, potentially triggering the formation of new stars. It's like the ultimate cosmic recycling program, where the death of one massive star leads to the birth of many new stars. For amateur astronomers and stargazers, the prospect of Betelgeuse going supernova is incredibly exciting. Most astronomical events that make the news, like meteor showers or planetary alignments, are relatively small and require some knowledge and preparation to observe properly. But a Betelgeuse supernova would be impossible to miss. It would be visible to anyone, anywhere on Earth where the constellation Orion can be seen, which is basically everywhere except the extreme polar regions. You wouldn't need a telescope, binoculars, or any special equipment. You wouldn't need to know anything about astronomy or where to look in the sky. You would just step outside at night and immediately see this incredibly bright new star that wasn't there before. It would be one of those rare astronomical events that would capture the attention of the entire world, not just professional astronomers and space enthusiasts. The supernova would also be a fantastic opportunity for photography and videography. Imagine being able to take pictures of the brightest supernova in human history, or creating time-lapse videos showing how the explosion evolves over weeks and months. Social media would explode with images and videos of this incredible cosmic event from people all around the world. But perhaps the most amazing thing about a Betelgeuse supernova would be the way it connects us to the broader universe and to our place in cosmic history. For thousands of years, humans have looked up at the stars and wondered about our place in the cosmos. We've created myths and legends about the constellations, used them for navigation, and marveled at their beauty and mystery. A supernova visible from Earth would be a reminder that we live in a dynamic, ever-changing universe where even the stars themselves are not permanent. It would show us that we are part of something much larger and more magnificent than our everyday lives on Earth. And it would give us a front row seat to one of the most spectacular shows the universe has to offer. The aftermath of the supernova would be just as fascinating as the initial explosion. Over the months and years following the blast, astronomers would be able to watch as the expanding shell of gas and debris from the explosion interacts with the material around Betelgeuse. This would create beautiful, colorful nebulae that would glow for thousands of years, creating a permanent memorial to this once great star. Future generations would grow up with a night sky that looks completely different from the one we know today. They would see this expanding nebula where Betelgeuse used to be, and they would hear stories from their grandparents about the night the sky changed forever. It would become part of human history and culture in the same way that other rare astronomical events, like the appearance of very bright comets, have become part of our shared heritage. 
the scientific benefits of observing a nearby supernova would extend far beyond just understanding stellar evolution. Supernovas are also important for understanding dark energy, the mysterious force that's causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate. By studying how the light from the Betelgeuse supernova changes over time, scientists might be able to learn more about the fundamental properties of space and time itself. The explosion would also provide valuable information about gravitational waves, ripples in space-time that were only recently detected for the first time. When Betelgeuse's core collapses, it might create gravitational waves that our detectors on Earth could measure, giving us a new way to study the physics of stellar collapse and the nature of gravity itself. As we wait for this incredible event to unfold, it's worth remembering that we are living in a truly special time in human history. We are the first generation to have telescopes and instruments sensitive enough to study a nearby supernova in detail. We are the first to understand what causes these explosions and what they mean for the evolution of the universe. And we might be the lucky generation that actually gets to witness this spectacular event. Whether Betelgeuse explodes tomorrow or in a hundred thousand years, one thing is certain, when it does happen, it will be one of the most remarkable and memorable events in human history. It will be a reminder of the incredible power and beauty of the universe we live in, and it will inspire a new generation of scientists, astronomers, and space enthusiasts to continue exploring the cosmos and unlocking its secrets. The night sky has looked essentially the same to humans for our entire history as a species. The same stars that guided ancient Egyptian sailors and inspired Greek mythology are the same stars we see today. But Betelgeuse is about to change all of that. When it explodes, it will mark the end of one era of human stargazing and the beginning of another. The sky will never look the same again, and neither will our understanding of our place in the universe. So the next time you're outside on a clear night, take a moment to look up at the constellation Orion. Find that reddish star on the hunter's left shoulder, and remember that you're looking at a cosmic time bomb that could change everything we know about the night sky. You are witnessing a star in its final moments before one of the most spectacular shows the universe has to offer. And when that show finally begins, you will be able to tell future generations that you remember what the sky looked like before the night everything changed forever. This incredible story of Betelgeuse and its coming supernova is just one example of the amazing wonders waiting to be discovered in our universe. If you enjoyed learning about this cosmic time bomb and want to hear more fascinating stories about space and astronomy, make sure to hit that like button to let me know you want more content like this. Share this video with your friends and family so they can learn about this incredible event that might happen in our lifetime. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss another amazing journey through the cosmos. The universe is full of incredible mysteries and spectacular events, and I can't wait to explore more of them with you. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars and wondering about the incredible universe we call home.